So people usually don't come here and tell me how good they're feeling. Yeah. How can I help you today? Well, I've been dancing for six years, so I have a very stiff back. Mm -hmm. um, it pretty much never goes away. Okay. I have knots everywhere. 24-7 you have this pain? Mm -hmm. So it's every day you feel pain in your back? Yes. Tension, pain, stiffness, how would you describe it? What is it mostly? I mean all of it. A lot of stiffness though. Mm -hmm. But it actually elevates past that into pain? Yeah. Okay. So has this been going on for six years or is that just from the activity? Um, I feel like it's because I wasn't stretching and a lot of people say, you know, when you dance you stretch before, mm -hmm. you know, and I never did. Um, so this has been going on for, for six years. Was there any injury or was there anything before that? Any accidents or incidents like car accidents, falls, traumas? Not that I can remember, but I did play lacrosse for a while. Okay. Yeah, three years. All right, <laughs> so that's a pretty intense sport. Yeah. What position were you? Were you forward? Attack. So, attack. So I scored all the goals. Okay. Yeah. Do you still play at all? Do you still have the skills? I do not. Okay. I do not know. Do you miss it? I do miss it. Yeah. I do. Okay. All right, back to your back pain. Okay. So what do you do to make it feel better? Do you take any over-the-counters? Do you use any icing? Do you have any kind of method? What do you do when it hurts? I really don't do much. You know, I get massages. Okay. I ask a friend for a massage, but other than that... Do massages help? Um, they help at the time. Like, okay. they help while they're massaging, but afterwards, not too much. Okay. All right, so what makes the pain worse? Does actual, does dancing actually make it? Activity makes it worse? Or do you feel it more when you're resting, sleeping, when you wake up in the morning? No, I feel like, I mean, I feel like activity does make it worse, but it's when I make, wake up in the morning that I, like, feel it. Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Okay, so when you feel it, well, you said it was, like, stiffness, pain. Do you ever have any burning pain with that? No. Do you ever have any radiating pain into your hands, into your into your arms, your forearms? No. How about into your feet, into your toes? No. Nope. Any numbness or tingling into your uh, feet or into your hands? No. Okay. And so this is pretty much 24-7, all the time, pain, discomfort. Have you ever been adjusted before? I've never been adjusted. Okay. Are you excited to get adjusted I'm today? I'm so excited. Are you nervous to get adjusted today? Um, I'm a little nervous. Okay. You know, I heard all the sounds, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, that's cool. So you checked out a couple videos? Yeah, okay. yeah. All it's right. It's intense. It, it, it's going to be very calm. It's going to be, okay. we're going to go nice and slow. If you have any questions, we're going to practice an adjustment so you can feel what it's like before I do it. There's not going to be any pain associated with the adjustment. As a matter of fact, it should feel better right away. Okay. Okay, no other parts of your story, no, no other parts of your history, no other activities that we need to know about. I don't think so, no. Okay. All right, so let's do an exam. Let's see what your spine says, and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay. All right. The first thing that you're going to feel is my fingertips, okay? I'm just going to take a quick scan down your spine. Okay. All right, we've got some activity happening here and here. All right, so let's do, I'm gonna come a little bit deeper now. We're just gonna palpate. It's gonna feel kind of like a massage. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking for different parts of your spine where the muscles are engaged and activated and where they're actively trying to pull the spine into proper alignment. Mm -hmm. Tender right here? Yeah, actually. Here. Left, right, or both? Definitely right. Right. Okay, a little tenderness here. Yeah. Is it more on the left or right? Or same? Uh, pretty much the same, right there, yeah. Here, left or right? Um, it's kind of the same. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely the left. Okay. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. A little bit of a flattening here. Go ahead and like sit up straight. Let me just see that. That's better. A little bit more of your natural curve there. 
But a little bit of rotation, you can see your lumbar spine here, Christina, the right side is sticking out just a little bit further than the left, but just a tiny bit. Okay, so let's check out the sacrum here. Lean back into my thumb. Any pain there? No. Any pain there? No. Any pain? Nope. Right, we're gonna come to the right side. We might have a little bit here, hold on. Okay. Tender? Just a little bit, yeah. Good. Any tenderness there? Yeah, a little bit. Let's do this over here. Are you like that? Yeah. Okay, S1 and S4. Now let's check back at that T5. Tender? A little bit, yeah. Tender? Yeah, definitely. All right, still there. And I'm just gonna use my fingers here to push into each segment of the spine, checking for the flexibility, checking for the joint play. And a little bit at that L5 here. How's that feel? Does that feel like there's tension there, stiffness? Oh, stiffness, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna palpate your glute fibers here. Yeah. Tenderness everywhere? Yeah. More sure. on the left or right? Uh, definitely more on the right. All the tenderness in your sacrum was here on the right side, your SI joint. Do you feel how there's like yeah. fluid there? Yeah. That's a little bit of edema. It's a little bit of swelling. Okay, and any pain right here on your coccyx? No. No, that's good. Uh, into your sacrum now and check the flexibility. Good. 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 Tender? Yeah. More on the right or left? On the left, actually. Okay, yeah, definitely on the right. Tender on the right. Mm -hmm. Atlas on the right. And how's that guy feel right there? Not so great? No. Let's look at your legs. The right leg appears short. Lift your right hip up just a little bit and down. Left hip just a little bit and down. Then I check again and they're perfectly even. You don't really have one leg that's shorter than the other. What you have is your hips are rotated a little bit and so I put the blocks under and rotate them the other way and then they balance out. And that flattened out your lumbar curve as well. Okay, so I'm gonna use an instrument here to start loosening up your spine. This is what it feels like. How's that pressure, okay? That's fine. Okay, my feeling is that we could probably go a little bit harder. Yeah, I'm gonna come into the glute fibers on the right side here. Pressure's okay? Yeah. Okay, Christina, you ready to get adjusted? Mm hmm Okay. So let's practice one first, just so you can see what it feels. Take a deep breath in through your nose, and then out through your mouth. I'm just gonna follow your breath down like this. And then at the end of your breath, we're gonna give a little push like that and you should feel a release, okay? okay? Now, we need to be precise. That guy right here, one, two, three, four, five. 
Go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth. Good, and just sink in nice and gentle, good. Ooh. Okay. Go ahead and take another deep breath in and out. Good, let your shoulders sink in, let it all go. How's that feel? Is that still tender? Oh yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Okay, so let's do this. What you're gonna do is cross your fingers behind your neck. Like this? Yeah, uh -huh. and then bring your elbows in. And slouch down just a little. And as you breathe out, we're gonna lean back together mm -hmm. and hold this slouch. And then when we get to the table and my hand hits the table, we'll do an adjustment, okay? Okay. Okay, so another deep breath in and out. Lean back, good. Good. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Lay on your side face over there. Okay. Bend your top leg like this. And scoot your forward towards the end just a little bit. And then this forward just a little bit too. Okay, and just kind of like loosey-goosey. Let yourself relax. That's good. And then I'm going to bring your hips down like this. And we're going to give a little push in that direction, okay? So take a nice soft breath in. And out. Good. Gentle, gentle little stretch here. That was crazy. <laughs> Lay <Later> back. <laughs> okay, same thing. We're gonna bend the top leg. Good. A little bit. This forward too, just a little bit, just like that. Good. Okay. Do you feel all that? Feel all that ickiness in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that right now. All right, I'm gonna pull this forward just a little bit more. There you go. And same thing on this side. I'm going to bring this down, and then we're going to give a little push in that direction, okay? Okay, okay nice soft breath in and out. Good. Good. One more, a little bit lower now. That was the S1, now the S4. Go, let it go. Let your hips go. There you go. Good. And now, rechecking the legs. Even Steven. Now. I'm going to just confirm what I found in your neck. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Nothing. Back to center. Now turn your head to the left. Even. Back to center. Okay, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Okay, and back to center. And that confirmed we have some lower left, upper right. Okay. So the neck adjustment is very similar to the other adjustments, Christina. It's going to be nice and gentle. Still tender? Yeah. Let's see this left side. Not as much? Not as much, but it's tender. Okay. Okay, so let your head just drop into the table. There you go. That was a good release. We're gonna do the left side first to help loosen up any tension, and then we'll come up here to the right side, Alice, which is the big one, okay? Let's just test it first. I'm gonna bring your head over to the left and see if you can just let your head drop. Good, just like that. Just let it, let it go. And I'm just gonna kinda of push in and figure this out. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. We're going to come over just a little bit more. Let your head drop. Good. Seven, six, five. Oh, so you felt that little one crack already. Do you crack mm -hmm. your neck on your own? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> How often? Like once a week, once a month, once a um, day? Kind of whenever it cracks on its own, like whenever I turn my head and it cracks. Okay. Yeah. So it's just waiting to go, huh? <laughs> and let your head go. Good. So then nice and gentle, we'll kind of push in that direction, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to concentrate on this feeling right here. So let me lift up your head, and then let it drop just like that. I'll lift and then drop. And so no matter where you are, if I bring you over here or over here, I just want you to let it drop, okay? Nice, gentle breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good, nice loosey goose here. 
How's that, okay? Yeah, that was really good. Okay, good. There's one more, just a little bit further up. Right, right here, let it drop. I've never cracked my neck like that, though. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do the right side now. Same thing, nice and gentle. I'm gonna bring you over to the side and we'll give a little push like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice soft breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, let your head drop, let your shoulders drop, good. Okay, that was fantastic. And then we'll do this one right here. Let your head drop again, last time. Now this last adjustment, I'm just gonna pick your head up like this, and then we're gonna pull it out in this direction, and then up like this, and then one more like that, okay? Nice and gentle here. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Good. How's that? That was really good. Mm. That one was the best one, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I always try and stretch my neck out, like by, you know, bringing it forward and trying to stretch it myself. Mm -hmm. That was perfect. Mm. Okay, let your head relax. Good. Go ahead and open. Open your mouth. Good. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Open, close. Perfect. All right, so just relax, let your head relax. I'm gonna push your feet up like this. Pretty even, that was really good. A little bit of a crack on this right side. And then it gave a little bit more, showing me that your left side needs left talus adjustment here. Go ahead and push your foot against my hand. Okay, relax. Good, now pull your foot against my hand. No, 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 pull the other way, your toes towards your chin. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, okay, that's good, relax. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just kinda hold like this. I'm gonna pull this down and give this a little push, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, deep breath in through your nose. Not through your mouth. Good, one more. Okay, so we're gonna do an ileocecal valve right here on the umbilical, and then here's the ASIS. We're gonna connect the dots and in between and find the valve. That's really tender. Okay. When's the last time you ate today? Uh, literally on the way here. Okay. What did you have? Panera. Okay, that's uh, good. So yeah, just like a sandwich. Panera's decent. Push your knees out against my hand. Good push, a little harder. Harder, harder, relax. Bend your knees just a little bit more. Good, right there. Okay, now squeeze my hand in between your knees. Go. Relax. Is that your stomach that just Yeah, came? that was my stomach. <laughs> All right, squeeze again. Relax. Okay, push out. Push, 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 push. Relax. Okay, hold on, squeeze, squeeze. Harder, harder, hard as you can. Relax. Okay, hold your knees together. Okay. Hold your knees together. Don't let me pull them apart. Hold your knees. Good. Okay, shake. Hard. Relax. Okay, look straight ahead. Shake. This one? No, no, no. Right oh. hand. Squeeze. That's good. Okay, relax here. Let this relax, let that relax. Squeeze. Relax. Squeeze. I don't know. 
Squeeze. Harder. Relax. Whoa. Go straight ahead. Your wrist ever bother you? Yeah, all the time. Sometimes in school I have to like stop writing because my wrist and my hands hurt so bad from just taking like a page of notes. Damn professors. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, let's recheck here. The spine is moving better here, but I can feel that you have a trigger point right here. So we're gonna work on that, okay? Mm -hmm. let's, let's see what's happening down the sacrum again. Much better movement. Let's lean back here. S1, any pain? Nope. Pain? Nope. Here, S2, pain? Nope. S3, good, pain? Nope. Good, S4, pain? Nope. Good. Sacrum is clear on the right. Trigger point on the left. You ready to do some breathing? Yeah. Okay, deep breath in through your nose. And out. Tough girl. <laughs> you got a high pain threshold. I know, yeah, I do. Another deep breath in. And out. Good. <laughs> your, your pain threshold is too good. Yeah, I know. When I get massages, everyone's like, are you okay? Am I hurting you? And I'm like, no, go harder. <laughs> Deep breath in. And out. All right, let's do a little bit of cranial. Let's open up that third eye, sixth chakra, Ajna. Come up to the crown chakra, Sahasrara. This is where you should get your next lotus, right here on the top of your head. Really? You shake your head and then, and then get a <laughs> tattoo on top of yes. your head. You look great with the shaved head. All right, let's stand up and take that for a test drive. Okay. Go ahead and walk around the table a little bit. Okay. Do my ankles, they always crack when I walk. Oh, 